Hi everybody. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, guys. How are you? Hi, Norbert. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. Hey, Danny. Hello. Richard. Hello. Hi, guys. Good evening, Lupita. Hello. How are you? Good evening, Pedrina. Good to see you, Pedrina. Hello, teacher. Hello. Acabo de leer su mensaje, Miss. Le agradezco por estar acá. Hey, Moses. Carlos, glad to see you, Carlos. Clary, <coughs> Sandra. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. How are you doing? Hello. How are you guys? ¿Cómo les está yendo? How is your Tuesday going? Everything good? Everything fine? It's good. Good, okay. Amazing. Sounds great. So, thanks a lot. Gracias a todos por conectarse. Thanks for your time. Vamos a compartir este Tuesday a couple of eh, topics that we have for today. Espero que hayan tenido un buen día, que no les haya afectado la lluvia, and that you're just fine. So, it is 8.01. So, just to get started, voy a pasar asistencia. Let me go ahead and take attendance. Uh, si me pueden ayudar con su camarita, a couple of minutes, please, just to make sure that it's your beautiful face, your voice, and everything. So, Carlos, me alegra que ya se con nosotros. I'm glad you're there. Super glad. Eh, hi, Jocelyn. Gracias por unirse. Uh, Jasmine, hello. Gracias por unirse también. Thanks a lot for your attendance. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. So guys, um, well, you know, estamos solamente a tres clases más de terminar el módulo. So this is amazing. Uh, terminamos el día lunes, as you may remember, y tenemos un asueto. So we have a day off on Thursday, right? That is Father's Day. Así que vamos a, a practicar tanto como podamos. Vamos a avanzar as much as we can para poder, eh, you know, aprovechar el módulo al máximo. So, allow me one second, let me take attendance. Eh, Ana Delmi está por acá. No, Brenda. Brian. Carlos, me regala confirmación, Carlos, please. Present. Thank you very much. Eh, Jasmine ya está con nosotros. Danny Anthony. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Eh, Danis, ya está con nosotros, Danis. Está viendo. Eh, Giovanni, ¿está por acá? Guadalupe. Present me. Thank you so much. Yo, eh, Jackie. Jacqueline. Present teacher. Gracias, Miss. Thank you so much. Eh, Jocelyn. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Ignacio? Norbert? Present teacher. Thank you. Marvin Bonilla. Marvin, ¿está por acá? Todavía no. Eh, Miriam Claribel, solo regáleme confirmación, Clary. Ok, creería que se ha levantado. Eh, Moses, ¿está por acá, right? Present. Thank you so much, Moses. Eh, Pedrina, me regala confirmación, please. Present teacher, present. Thank you. René. René, todavía no. Ricardo. Present teacher. Amazing, thank you. Hello. Hello, good evening. Sandra Rodas. Sandrita. <laughs> present teacher. Gracias, Miss. Hello, good evening. Me alegra que esté con nosotros. Angel. Angel, ¿está por acá? Ok, creería que Angel todavía no. Eh, Natalie, Natalie, ¿está por acá? Hi, teacher. Yes, yes. good evening. Yes. Uh, teacher. Hello, Miss. Teacher, I'm going to listen. I won't, I'm going only to listen because I'm working. Wow, gracias por unirse. Ok, no era problema y gracias yes. por comentarme. Yesterday, yesterday, yesterday uh, too, I was working. 
Wow, you were working yesterday. Okay. Okay, yes. thank you. Gracias por unirse y acompañarnos ahora. No, no, no worries. Voy a estar pendiente de Arthur. Eh, Marvin López. Marvin, ¿está por acá? Already. Sandra Elizabeth. Elizabeth, ¿me regala confirmación, please? Yes, and teacher. And there you go. Gracias, Miss. And Ingrid Magali. Creo que Ingrid todavía va de camino a casa. If I'm not mistaken, just let me confirm. Déjenme revisar si hay alguien más. Anybody else who has joined? No, I think I'm good. Already. Okay, guys. So, gracias por la confirmación. Thank you so much for your attendance. Uh, thanks for acompañarnos, you know, in session number 17. Uh, today, vamos a reforzar parte del tema que vimos ayer, right? So you will be able to write first sentences using so and such, using an article in groups. So vamos a trabajar un poquito with vocabulary, del que vimos ayer como accounting vocabulary. Also, utilizar la parte de so and such un poco más fluido, right? Sin muchas trabas, describir de objetos, etc. And uh, um, pretty much that is what we are going to focus on. Yesterday, vimos un par de palabritas. We checked some vocabulary que tiene que ver con dinero. It is related to money. Um, it is related to nuestras cuentas, ingresos, egresos, el dinero que usamos, right? And so we checked a couple of words here. For example, cash flow, earnings, fee, it, bank account, expenses, income, profits, and interest. Right? So, um, what do you remember about these words? ¿Qué se recuerden que significaban? What do, what do you remember from them? For example, cash flow. Anybody remembers what cash flow was? Ah, chica. Mm, it's related to money, pero un poco más con la palabra flow, right? So, uh, so what you, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So flow es ese movimiento de efectivo. Mm -hmm. When we are talking about money, lo que entra sale, everything, right? Uh, we also check the word earnings. What was the meaning of earnings? Anybody? Ganancias. Ganancias, okay. teacher. Yes, the earnings, <laughs> al igual que profits, right? La ganancia. Okay. What about fee? What about fee? Uh, it's uh, un agregado. Una tarifa, un precio. Exactly. A fee es como uh, una tarifa, un impuesto, digamos un cobro, right? Let's say kind of un cobro por transacciones. Sometimes we have to pay, pero un valor ya establecido. So that is a fee, right? Porcentaje, ¿verdad? Podría ser un porcentaje y, okay. o a veces ya está establecido. Ah, es que, por, por ejemplo, eh, my work, eh, las facturaciones a los clientes tienen un fee que es un porcentaje, 5%, 6%. Ok, ok, ok. So, en ese caso sí es el porcentaje por transacción. But sometimes ya hay una tarifa establecida. For example, um, how can I mention this? <laughs> ok, for example... Uh, digamos cuando tienen un, um, un ATM withdrawal, cuando van a sacar dinero del cajero. Cuando se pasan, right, cuando nos pasamos de eso, there is a fee, antes era de $3 dólares sin agrícola, ahora ya no sé, but it was $3 dólares, ya es establecido, you know, that was the amount. But also, si adelantan el salario in the same bank, hay un porcentaje por adelanto de salario, que depende de lo que usted saque, right? También es un fee. Entonces, no necesariamente eh, it's a percentage. Sometimes ya es una tarifa específica. So, but yeah, fee es un cargo, right? Um, it can be depending de cuánto estamos hablando, so that can be the fee, o ya está establecido. No es una mora, no es un interés, no es un cargo, right? And uh, also at the university, hay como una cuota. We call that in Spanish cuota. Debo de pagar la cuota from the university. But in English, se le llama fee también. Entonces, ese es el fee. 
for example, at uh, Technological University, the fee is, how much is that? Like $75, I think. Yes. Like $75 in University of El Salvador, antes era cinco. <laughs> it was $5, okay. But that was the fee, right? Then we have bank account. I guess todos tenemos una cuenta bancaria, right? Everybody has a bank account porque recibimos nuestro salario because we get our salary there. The next word we have is expenses. What is expenses? Anybody, anybody who remembers? Gastos. Exactly. Exactly. Expenses son todos los gastos, yeah? Yeah. All the money that you have to, uh, that you pay, right? Todo lo que sale, that is expense. So we have expenses in, we have, we spend money in food, in basic services like electricity, water, cell phone. Uh, ¿En qué más gasta? <laughs> what do you spend your money on? What is part of your expenses? Expenses. Y, y créditos. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Le voy a escribir la palabra por aquí. I'm going to write it down because that's also a very important word. Los créditos son loan. So we have to pay for loans. Mm -hmm. We have to pay for loans. Um, what else? Transportation. We pay for transportation, right? So yes. ya sea en carro, in the bus. So we pay for transportation. Algo más the que... Oh, okay, in the motorcycle. Uh-huh. ¿En qué más gastan? What else do you spend your money on? In the A. Eat. Uh -huh. Eat. In food. Eat. Yes, in food. Um, medicines. Medicine, exactly. Medicine. In medicine, uh, yeah. Medicine, uh, lujos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like personal. <laughs> personal yes, yes. expenses. Pon personal ponerle, expenses. Ponerle, ponerle aguacate al almuerzo es un gran lujo. <laughs> Okay. Solo 15 y 30. So personal expenses, I think it's good. La, yes. la maruchan extra que no comemos, right? Yeah, so the, those are expenses. Son como nuestros gastos out, right? Uh, then we have income. What about the word income? Ingresos. Ingresos. Exactly. Income es todo lo que ingresa. De donde usted obtiene dinero, right? Si está alquilando un lugar, por ejemplo, eh, y usted es el arrendatario, so that is part of your income. If you receive remesas, that in English is called remittances. No. So that is also, se los escribí in the, I wrote it in the, uh, in the chat. So remittances, that is also income, right? Si tiene un negocio de cualquier tipo de negocio, you know, uh, so that is an income. So, son los ingresos. Then we have profits. We already checked that. Era en la ganancia. And interest, right? Que eso sí es like for loans, for credits, or credit line. So, that would be the interest. Lo que pagamos extra. Guys, I will give you five minutes. And I want you to write. Quiero que escriban como una oración con todas las palabras que pueden, as many words as you can, because this vocabulary is very important, and whenever we have the chance to talk about money, vamos a utilizarlos. So, for example, con la palabra eh, fee, ¿qué puedo utilizar? You know, um, I can say, for example, eh, Banco de América Central has a fee for the use of the debit card. Yeah, so it's como un cargo. Or I pay $1 fee for the use of the debit card. So what about the rest? I'll give you five minutes. Me los pueden escribir. You can write them there. O activan el micrófono and you give me your examples. That would be great. Teacher. Yes, Richard. Eh, una, una, uh, one question. Uh, er, earning eh, profits es lo mismo. Um, yes. Podría ser. Lo que pasa es que earning se refiere más como a los salarios, you know, lo que entra de salario. En profit es cuando usted ya tiene un negocio y pues tiene cierta ganancia, right? Lo que le queda ya o sea libre. Que por, ah, por, por ejemplo, eh, podemos utilizar los, 
lo, lo dos no hay ningún problema. Depende yeah. del contexto que, le, que se va a, a explicar. Exactly. Lo más común cuando es un negocio es profit, porque es la palabra ya ganancia. But earning uh -huh. también funciona. Uh -huh. Pero earning sí viene de earn, de ganar, ¿verdad? De dinero. Yes. Like the y, salary. Y, uh, uh, y remittances, ¿qué era? Remittances. The remittances, remittances. Eh, son las... Uh, my God, se me acaba de olvidar lo que acabo de decir. <ríe> son las remesas. The remittances ah. es el dinero extra que nos mandan. <ríe> Do you ah. receive remittances? I don't receive remittances. Do you? Ah, ok. Ok. So, if you have family in USA, in another country, they send you money for Christmas or for your birthday. So that is a remittance or remittances. Yes. Any other question? Pregunta, chicos. Do you have more questions? Hello, Ignacio. I'm Hello, so Michelle. glad to see you. <laughs> Acabo de leer su mensaje. Thank you so much. También vi por ahí que eso nos unió. Marvin. So thank you, Marvin. Hey, Delmi. I'm glad to see you, Ana. Hello. Hello. Michelle. Hello, Good Giovanni. Evening. Good evening, Ana. I'm glad to see you. Hello, Rene. I'm glad to see you as well. Angel. Hello, Angel. How you doing? Ya le voy a reclamar a Angel que me dejó en visto. <laughs> so, I don't know. I guess he's having dinner. Hello, Hi, Daddy. Sorry. Oh, hey. No problem with the microphone. Oh, but I'm glad you're there. Me alegre que se por ahí. So I'm glad yeah, you are right there. Uh, Danny, how you doing, Danny? How you doing, Anthony? Everything good? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Are you feeling good? Uh, very fine, teacher. Uh, uh, my my example uh, uh, the the word cash flow is uh, uh, cash flow in my world is uh, the is uh, in is in uh, gasolina. ¿Cómo se dice? Gasolina. Gasolina. Gas and paper. Okay. Okay. So gas and paper. Already, thank you for the example, Danny. I hope you're feeling fine. Lo, lo siento como un poco down today. Are you okay? Are you feeling mm. sick? No, teacher, no, no. Es que me estaba durmiendo. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. I noticed that. Mm. But thank you. Gracias por los ejemplos. Okay, anybody else? Who has one example, guys? Expenses. Who has an example with expenses? Okay. Teacher. Yes, Norbert. Uh, for example, uh, my brother how a con in the bank America Central. Mm -hmm. Yes. So my brother has a bank account. Very good. Yes. Okay. That's a good one. Anybody else? Examples. Give me your examples. Teacher, una oración de las palabras que existen yes, ahí. Yes, exactly. One little sentence with the vocabulary we have here. Okay. My, my, my sentence. Last Monday, I went to the bank to withdraw money, mm -hmm. my account. Mm -hmm. Uh, from my my con. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. So last time I went to withdraw money, you said. Okay, yeah, amazing. That sounds good. So I withdrew money from my bank account. Anybody else? Th that word la voy a escribir en el chat because esa palabra es bien útil. So withdraw. Ahora con Bitcoin también van a verla bastante, que es withdraw. So withdraw es cuando usted dice voy a sacar dinero, right? Eso se llama withdraw. When you say, oh, voy a ir al cajero y voy a sacar 
100 dólares. So I'm going to withdraw money. Esa acción de sacar es withdraw. When you go to the bank y usted saca dinero, también se llama withdraw. So es como sacar, retirar, right? Retirar, mm -hmm. retirar. That is the word. That is the word. Anybody else? Examples. ¿Alguien tiene alguno con fee? ¿Ya tienen uno con fee? Teacher. Yes. Uh, I am, I regular uh, pay fee uh, every day. Why? Because when my bill of loading of my containers uh, arrive to the port, okay. I pay fee okay. for this consolidation and, and pay fee for import tramit. Ah, okay. For the paperwork, you have to pay a fee. Is it expensive uh, or not too much? Uh, no, uh, depending. Depending on the size, depending on the material, depending on the, on the it depends on what? Uh, depending on the, uh, how do you say Naviera? Oh, okay, depending on the transportation. Correct. It depends on the transportation company. Okay. okay. Yes, every company has a different tariff. Oh, okay. Okay, got it. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, Richard, creo que te dio un ejemplo. Richard, yes, Ignacio, yes, tell me. Yes, yes. Oh, there you go. Uh, only, uh, dale, Ignacio, dale, Ignacio. Only hola, a, a little question. Yes. But, uh, The different fee in the aduana is the category, for example, the luxury, and in another, in another thing or or another request. Uh, re, sorry, I don't. Um, different tarifas. Different según, categories. Uh, for example, products, lux, uh, luxury mm -hmm. products. They are more expensive, right? It's more expensive than mm -hmm. Also electronics, I understand. So uh -huh. cell phones and things like those. Yeah, esa palabrita aduana la podemos usar como customs. So that is customs. Está acá en el chat para que la agreguemos a nuestro vocabulario. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, that is right. Well, eso es lo que he escuchado, but I'm not that familiar with uh, the process of the customs, but, but that is good to know. So thanks a lot. Uh, Richard, ¿tenía una, un ejemplo para nosotros? Do you have an example? Eh, eh, sí. Eh, money eh, spends this month. Money. Money expensive this month. Lo, lo, voy a, lo voy a poner en el chat. Ok, yes, please, yes. I think I got it. Solo que la palabra expenses, eh, creo que me la uso como verbo. Y expenses son, esa, esa es la palabra gastos, right? Por ejemplo, yo tengo muchos gastos en el mes. I have a lot of expenses per month. Or este mes, uh, tuve más gastos. I have more expenses this month, for example. So, usamos la palabra expense como la palabra gasto, right? Uh, Escríbanmela y le hacemos la corrección, no worries. Anybody else? Anybody? Yes. Entonces. Many expenses, got it. I'm sorry, Ignacio, tell me. Es correcto unir las palabras fee, customs, or custom fee. Custom fee, yeah, custom fee, al revés, custom, yes. Custom fee. Yeah, como la tarifa o el cobro o el cargo en oh, aduanas, okay. yes, exactly. Okay, anybody else, any other example? Income, what do you have for income or profits? Uh, for example, in my case, I, I want to more money in my bank account. Oh, yes, me too. <laughs> I'm 
would love to have more money in my bank account. Okay, thank you, Rene. Anybody else? Teacher, yes. How how do you say uh, al revés? Uh, vice versa, the other way around. Ah. Depende del contexto. What do you want to say? <laughs> sí, porque va, se lo decía en español. A mí me cobra el banco cuando no ocupo la tarjeta. A mí es al revés. A mí también. <laughs> So, uh -huh. Yeah, the other way around, al revés, the other uh, way around. Mm -hmm. Uy, qué largo, es más fácil en español. You can say vice versa, <laughs> pero no tiene el mismo significado. So, the other way around es como, a mí me pasa al revés. Ajá, uh -huh. okay, the other way around. Mm, but Oye, yes, con... Moses? Un ejemplo con income uh, podría ser my income is variable every month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a very good one. Exactly. My income as well. So when we get bonuses, right, the income increases. Okay. Thank you, guys. We are going to continue checking this in a little while. Just let me make sure I have an account to get my salary. Yep, that, that's correct. Podemos usar la palabra bank también. I have a bank account. So, es la palabra completa, bank account, una cuenta bancaria, right? Thank you, guys. Let's continue with this, okay? And um, for the next activity, oh, look at the pictures. I'm so hungry now. Uh, it says here, write as many adjectives as possible. Tenemos un par de pictures. We have a couple of them. And what I want you to do is look, observe, t t pay close attention to the pictures, and write todo lo que ustedes puedan ocupar para describir la foto. ¿Qué es un adjetivo? What is an adjective? Las palabras que uso para descripción. For example, bonito, feo, caro, sucio, limpio, interesante, aburrido, viejo, joven, ya. Yeah? So those are adjectives, words that I can use to describe a person, an object, a place, etc. Si no saben cómo decirlo, it's okay. You can say it in Spanish, lo buscan rapidito in the dictionary, and we increase our vocabulary too. Vamos a hacer esta actividad en grupo, le pueden tomar picture. You can take a screenshot para que nos quede por ahí. And allow me one second here. I'm going to make the groups so everybody can give uh, more ideas. You know, you can um, share your thoughts and your adjectives. La idea es formar más vocabulario and si encuentra palabras nuevas también anótenlas ustedes, right? Hagan su lista de vocabulario. Tenemos cinco minutitos. We got five minutes to, call, to go to the groups, listen to the adjectives, write them down y luego regresamos y comparamos. So five <coughs> minutes. Let's go, everybody. Hi, Denise. Good evening. Gracias por acompañarnos. Hello guys, uh, me indican si necesitan ayuda para entrar, so I can help you. viajar de un lado para otro. Uh, diamonds, uh, three, mm, beautiful. Um, four, eh, relax. Uh, five, danger. 
peligro. Six. Eh, sleep, dormir este. Um, Boring. Yes. Eh, a ver, cuatro, cinco, seis, eh, seven. Uh, history. Shoes, history. <laughs> play, play soccer. Um, uh, hamburger, eh, delicious. Take two. <laughs> Okay. Uh, for me, the, the one is sofa. It's a uh, comfort. Yes. Um, the second, I don't know. Uh, esas son, esas son bien traviesas. Eh, ¿Cómo podría ser? Que, espérame, te digo. Touring. Ah, no, es Slipper. Slipper. Sí slipper, creo que sí se dice. We can, we slippers, como, res, uh, como que se escapan o algo Podemos usar la palabra playful, que es de, de juguetonas, you know. De... Uh, mm -hmm. esa, esa, esa palabra en el chat. Es como se refiere como a travieso. La vez pasada la escuché que sí le dijo una, una gringa a un niño que llegó al trabajo. Slippers. Sí. Déjeme buscarlo because to be honest, yo sé que es otra cosa, but a person oh, okay. es como dormilón, a person or animal who is asleep or who sleeps in an specific way. Mm -hmm. Let me see, a slipper. An accident, a person who is sleeping, animal, mm, no, no, no en ese ambiente. Ah, bueno. Mm -hmm. Pero okay. déjeme seguir buscando si le encuentro algo, I'll let you know. Pero no, no en ese ambiente. Podemos usar la palabra playful, que es juguetón, right? Mm -hmm. So that works for an animal. Sure. A squirrel. A squirrel, yeah. That's a squirrel. Yeah. Okay. okay. The squirrel is a playful. Uh, the diamond is uh, expensive. The tree is uh, fresh. The number four is a uh, danger. Um, adrenalina, no sé cómo se dice. Adrenaline, Adrenaline yeah. Adrenaline. And, and number five is boring. Number six is a uh, dirty. En number eh, eight está uh, delicious. 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 Delicious en eh, carbohidratos. El Carbo. power. Power. <laughs> yes. Three, three, eh, Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Three cheddar. Yes. Moses. Uh, escuché que dijo teacher, so I was like, ya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, three, three, chi, three cheddar. Five is. Oh. Ready? Yes. I heard teacher. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Yeah, dating or, or daring? O sea, daring, atrevido? No daring. Más. Yeah, daring. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Danger. Danger. <laughs> Danger, adrenaline. Yes. Me caigo de ahí, me, me mato. Exciting. Oh, I would include exciting. Oh, my, my. Yeah, it's... 
Magic, like magical. Yeah. Okay. They, daring, that's a really good word. Uh, so daring. Circles. Uh, skillful, the, the habilidoso, right? Mm -hmm. Now that you mentioned the circus, so also it can be very skillful. Hay personas que hacen esto para vivir, you know? So it's very skillful. Yo pongo un pie y fui, you know? <laughs> I fell down, but there are Teacher. people who are very good at this. Y, yes? y los arroja fuego ya los ha visto. En no wow. semáforo, no, hombre. Yeah. Qué, qué hígado, usted. Yeah. qué hígado. No, hombre. I don't know. I, I just, you know, when I see that, the first thing that comes to my mind is like yes. the lips. Yes. Like how much or how dangerous yes. it is. Que se tiene que quemar todos los labios, yes. you know? Yada they have to burn hace. their lips. Yeah, so, but yeah, people do it for a living. Ya no tienen pestañas, pero... Uh -huh. It's a very dangerous job. That's, I guess, one of the most dangerous activities. Like throwing fire, blowing fire. Mm -hmm. Pero también es skillful, you know? Because yo creo que si intentara me tragar la gasolina instead of working it out. So it's very skillful. Yeah, but, but it's hard. It's, oh, that's my adjective for that. Hard. I think it's a very hard activity. Yeah. What about the rest? <laughs> What other words? Intenten no repetir los adjetivos. Try not to repeat. Try to, you know, give it, give it up. Number seven, uh, the shoes is damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, damage. Mm -hmm. Por ahí escuché también dirty. So dirty, damage. Okay. Yeah, that works. Creo que también esa ya salió por aquí. Yes. Piedra, Dia ¿cómo es? Stone. 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 Ah, ok. Yeah. Stone. The, the diamond is beautiful and beauty and, and very expensive. It is a precious stone. Precious stone. En, entonces, we, we have three, three adjectives. Yes. Precious Precious stone, expensive, and beautiful. Beautiful. Ahora sobre la ardilla, dígame algo. The dog. The dog is, is cute ah. and, 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 ¿cómo se dice triste? Triste. Uh -huh. mm. Triste. Sad. Sad. Está triste. El, 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 el está, perro está triste. Es bonito, pero está triste. Ah, the, ok. Es bonito. The dog is good. It's cute. 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 ¿Cómo de letrea? Cute. Ah, cute. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, It's cute. It's cute, but but, but he, he is he he is sad. Él está triste. But 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 he's sad. Sí. Yes. The dog is cute, but he's sad. Mm, está triste y es bonito. Because no eating. O oh, eating. Eh, he visto que solamente dos adjetivos utilizamos en general. <ríe> Hay que retroalimentar quizás al regreso. Hay sí, un tercero yes. o cuarto. For, for example, the color skin, uh, the color hair. Or the, um, I don't know, the, the nose, size, the size, or, or, or the, the, the eyes, the, the form eyes, for example. 
Yes. Ok, hablemos de la ardilla. Ayudemos a la ardilla. <risa> ¿Cómo se dice ardilla? Skir. That's a squirrel. Squirrel. Ah, ah squirrel. Squeeze. Okay. Squirrel. Squirrel. Yes, that's a squirrel. Okay. Squirrel. Okay. Mm -hmm. The squirrel. The squirrel is is color brown. Is color coffee. The color is the squirrel. The squirrel is color coffee. Brown. Brown. Uh huh. Yeah. Brown. 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 Yes. Brown. Uh huh. Okay. And and is it small? Uh, it is a uh, yes. It, is small, okay. Um, and the photo. And your eyes is is in your eyes are are these. Sus ojos son grandes. Your eyes are are biggest. And you and, and how two hand small small hand. Podemos decir su cola. No no sé cómo no sé cómo yeah, that's cola, good. Cola. Sandra, can you Long repeat? Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's the tail. Solo le cola le... larga. Yes. Le digamos acá la palabra eh, que está en el chat. It's. Como estamos hablando del squirrel, sería no your, not his, sino it's. Lo que ustedes quieran decir, it's. siempre le ponemos it's. It's eyes, it's tail, porque es uno, como eso, ¿verdad? Como un animalito. Entonces, usamos it para eso. Teacher. Hello. No, no aplica decir he, he is. Mm, de to, es que todo depende. <ríe> Because hay familias que los consideran parte de la familia y los tratan no. como tal, como un miembro más. So, if that is the case, Sí funciona his or her, pero si es en general como una mascota, sí sería it, porque es un animalito. Ah, ok, thank you. Pero todo depende de cómo se lo trate. Por ejemplo, eh, my sister trata a su perrito como si fuera el bebé, you know? <laughs> Entonces sí es como his para ella, right? But mm -hmm. that's why, se presta un poco a his, her, or it, cualquiera de los tres es ok. Thank you guys. So thanks a lot for coming back. Algunos compañeros todavía falta que regresen. But we were working with these uh, words, let's say, and we were describing them before. So we have a sofa, we have a squirrel, we have a diamond, we have a tree, we have a, like an acrobat or something. 
a dog, a pair of shoes, and a really big hamburger. So um, we, I need your help, okay, describing the words that we have here. Let's start with sofa. Díganme todas las palabras that comes to your mind when you see the sofa. Um, sofa. Yes. Uh, color uh, red. Okay, um, it's red. Elegant. It's Elegant. Comfortable. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Big. Big. Okay. Yo lo veo suave. How do you say suave? Yes. Yes. Portable. Softly. Softly. Daniel. Softly. Softly. Soft. Okay. Soft. Stadium. Uh, tired. Tired. Mm. Tired. Maybe comfortable. <laughs> Se ve bastante cómodo. It looks very comfortable. Yes, comfortable. Okay. What about the diamond? What can you use? How do you describe the diamond? Diamond is uh, sky blue. Brilliant. Sky blue. Uh -huh. Sky blue. It's expensive. Expensive. Okay. ¿Qué más? What else? Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Small. Small. It's a, it's a precious stone. Precious stone. Precious. Okay. Alguien más creo que dijo algo por ahí, but I couldn't hear that. It's duro. How do you say duro? Hard. 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 Exactly. Hard. Diamonds are hard. Se supone que no se pueden romper, right? No. Supposedly, they are hard. Okay. What and about shiny. shiny? Very good. Exactly. That works very well. What about this man in the rope? How would you describe this activity? The man is on a rope. What is that? Dangerous. Dangerous. Crazy. Crazy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Special. Special. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. No sé cómo, but okay. <laughs> no, complicado. Uh, complicated, you said? Complicado? Yes. Okay, complicated. It's not ordinary. Ordinary. Oh, okay. So uh, he is uh, extraordinary, maybe. Yes. I would yeah. include a skillful. Creo que es habilidoso. I think he's very skillful. Yes, oh, I, I wouldn't skillful. do it. Uh huh. He is being atrevido. He's really daring, you know. Por ahí tenía esa palabra mozas, and I like the word a lot. Now, what about the dog? What, how can you describe this little dog? Nine sheep. Uh, yes. French is dangerous. Dangerous. Es peligroso. No, okay. okay. No. French is yes. amigable. Uh, friendly. No. Friendly. 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 Friendly, amigable. Okay. Dangerous, maybe. I don't know. ¿Qué más? What else? No. Comfortable. No. Oh, okay. Probably. Yes. It's but pretty. look at the face. Okay. Pretty, cute. It's sad. Very triste. Yeah, it's really sad. sad. It's sad. really sad. Or maybe bored. Uh, no, no maybe no. real. Tired. Oh, tired, exactly. How do you yes. say con hambre? Uh, hungry. Hungry. Maybe the dog is hungry. hungry. Okay. And the last one, hamburger. What do you have about the hamburger? Yes, delicious. Delicious. It's dangerous. 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 Okay, for your cholesterol. <laughs> for her. Yes. Yes. It's a fat meal. Fast. Okay. Or fat. La dos. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> fast. Fast food. But also fat. Okay. We get fat. Okay. Algo más? Anything else? Oh, yeah. oh cheese. Okay, uh, cheesy, okay, como con mucho sí. queso, cheesy, yes. okay. yeah, well, for me, se ve grandota, it's huge, it's big, right, it's big, so probably it's just too big for me, okay, so very good, big. yesterday, so, weekly full, it is, weekly full, mm -hmm. fast, 
fast food. Fast, fast, yes. fast, fast food. Exactly. So, guys, el día de ayer revisábamos el tema de las descripciones y hablábamos un poquito de so y también de such, right? Such. En, mm -hmm. ¿Qué se recuerdan de so? What do you remember about so? Oh. So, denme oh. un par de ejemplos oh. con so. Un par de ejemplos oh. con so. Mm -hmm. um. the, teacher, the, the diamond is so beautiful. Very nice. The diamond is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. The teacher, the tan or the be, uh, the berry, so the the, mm -hmm. the tan, verdad, or the or the or the mucho. Yes, exactly. So, so es mucho. Mm -hmm. So far, so comfort. So, co for example, the first, the sofa yes. is very elegant. So it is so, so elegant. Yes. Okay. So elegant. So, so elegant. comfortable. Exactly. Yeah. Very nice. What about the dog? ¿Qué palabra utilizarían para describir el, el perrito? Um, uh, my it's dog so, is so, so cute. It's so, the dog is so cute. Okay. Yes. It's very cute. Okay. Yes. What about the shoes? What word uh, the would shoe you... is so hard. So they are old. so old, exactly. So muy viejos. Okay, they are so old. And the tree? It's old. Okay, the tree is so old. Tree, so, so, tree is so big. It's so big. Okay. Now, ¿qué sucede con el such? Yesterday también veíamos la parte de such eh, que nos costó un poquitín, you know. So we were having some difficulties con esta parte de such porque hablábamos de descripciones. Entonces uso such a or such an, right? Y luego utilizo un adjetivo. I'm going to use an adjective here. And um, voy a agregarle como algo más. I'm going to add como la categoría al final. O si no encuentro qué decir, puedo utilizar, utilizar las palabras como thin, person, place, etc. Y esto ya me lo describe. El significado es el mismo que so, as we said yesterday, pero la estructura o la forma de utilizarlo cambia un poquito. No es que sea complicado, solo el inicio eh, nos cuesta quizás un poquito hacerle, encontrarle la lógica, right? So, talking about the, the shoes, the pair of shoes, okay? The pair of shoes is such... Or the dog, podemos utilizar the dog para que podamos ir viendo little by little. So the dog is such. ¿Qué me pueden decir del perrito? Pongámosle nombre al perrito. <laughs> Let's name it. ¿Qué nombre le da? Jorobino. What? Jorobino. Jorobino. Solo vino. Al perro. Y es, así se llama el del taller. Oh my God. Es que lo que pasa, le cuento. Me suena, me suena. Lo que, lo que suena. pasa es que ese perrito llegó ahí a la cerrajería. Llegó herido de la boca y de las oh. patitas. Entonces ahí se quedó y entonces le pusieron que él solo vino nada más. <risa> y ahí está. Ok, solo vino. So, solo vino. What, what can you tell me about the dog? ¿Qué me dirían del perrito? So, solo vino y such. Um, a fast. Es no, such. No, es... A fast. Y como sé a que fast. es un perrito, le agregó la palabra dog al final y eso es todo. Solo vino uh, y such a fast dog. O solo vino y so fast. Es lo mismo, pero cambia un poquito la forma como lo digo, right? Me, me, me da curiosidad el nombre, solo vino. What? <laughs> ok. Yes. What about the tree? So, ¿qué tipo de árbol es ese? What type of tree is that? Quienes se, sepan de árboles, what is this? Un acre, one acre. Is that Roble. The... Roble o acre. Yes. Is, is that the Cero. name? Palo oh, en mano. <laughs> Ok, digamos que es el árbol de mango. De mamones. Okay. 
Okay, let's let's change it and let's yeah, let's talk about any other thing there. Yeah, because I have no idea about trees and we are going to be ending, I don't know, say that this is a, a banana. <laughs> Of another plantation, and it is no. not. <laughs> That's impossible. Um, the okay. Apple ear. Uh, an apple tree. The apple tree. Okay, that that could work. An so apple the, tree. The apple tree. Okay. ¿Qué me dirían del árbol? The apple tree. Big. Big. Is such. Is so. Big. So um, big. Shock, uh, shock, uh, Vamos a agregarle a orar, uh, cualquiera de las uh, dos, big, ya no so, big. is such a bad, big, bad. okay, the apple tree is such a big, y ahora uh, viene la situación, necesito ponerle tree. final algo, exactly, pero suena big. un poquito raro porque yo ya dije la palabra tree, right, mm -hmm. the apple tree is such a big tree, es como muy repetitivo, right, Plus, uh, mm -hmm. is, no, is, Hay varias formas de hacerlo. Puedo agregarle acá la palabra wine. The apple wine is such a big tree. Ya, como ya sé que estoy hablando de árboles, I can simply say el, 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 el de, como en español Arbol. cuando decimos el de, el de manzana es un árbol grande. Right? Mm. So the apple wine is such a big tree. And that's perfect. O puedo agregarle okay. al final la palabra thing, pero suena un poquito raro también. A big thing. The apple tree is such a big thing. Suena como un poquito raro, right? So, yeah. podemos agregarle la palabra one and that is perfect. Cuando ya no hayamos como qué más o cómo estructurar nuestras oraciones. So, um, guys, help me with some examples, right? Utilizando la palabra such a or such an con estas fotos. With the pictures or with examples that we have here. For example, with the hamburger, sabemos que la hamburguesa es comida. So, what can you say about the hamburger? The hamburger is such. What comes to your mind? Ya tenemos un par de adjetivos. That is fat, that is fast, that is dangerous, that is delicious. ¿Qué más dijeron de la hamburguesa? What do you say about the hamburger? Hell, cheese. Mm -hmm. It's full of, of cheese. Okay. So, ¿qué podríamos decir de la hamburguesa? It's W meat. Okay. Y utilizando oh, such hat. a. Such a. W meat. Necesitamos un adjetivo, una palabra para describir la hamburguesa. Oh. Mm -hmm. The hamburger is such a. The a hamburger fries. Fries, fries. Right, mm, the three doyer. Mm, but necesitamos solo como, remember que estoy diciendo lo mismo que so. La hamburguesa es tan, ya yeah, la hamburguesa es tan saludable. <laughs> o la hamburguesa es tan deliciosa, o es tan cara, o tan barata. So that is the idea, es lo mismo. The... Pero vamos a estructurarlo diferente. Okay. So the hamburger is such a... A big. Okay, so the hamburger is such a big, y como tengo que agregarle algo al final, puedo decir la palabra food. The hamburger is such a big food. Or the hamburger is such a delicious food. Or uh, the, um, the Wendy's hamburger is such. What can you say about hamburgers? But it's so bad. <laughs> it's Santa, such a bad. Santa Burger. Uh, oh, we can say that Wendy's Santa? is such a good place to eat, or it's such a bad place to eat. So, si podemos utilizar como place para Wendy's, you know? Okay. So, guys, I'll give you two, three minutes. Deme un par de ejemplos utilizando such. To make it easier. Podemos escribir primero la estructura y luego pensamos en un adjetivo. And then we're good.
Eh, teacher, eh, sample con, con so, ¿verdad? Such. With so such. such. Ok. Yeah. Yes, Norbert. Este, por ejemplo, eh, the hamburgers, the Burger King, eh, is such a delicious. Is such a delicious. Y como le tengo que agregar algo al final, le podemos poner la palabra one. So the Burger King hamburger is such a delicious one. Okay. Le agregamos one solo por estructura. And that's perfect. Ah, okay. 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 Very good. Very good. I like it. Anybody else? Volunteers. Hello, Ingrid. Me alegre que ya se por acá. I'm super glad. Ya leí su mensajito. Thank you, miss. Hello. Hello. Yes, miss, uh, miss, um, it's a for um, Hamburgers, tenía tal vez the hamburgers um, the Wendy's is a uh, is such a uh, fat that such a fat fat such a fat no, la fat como eh, de grasosa fat. ajá ajá okay podemos usar la palabra fatty eh, ya se la escribo ah. I'm gonna write it So, when this hamburger is such a fatty, pero como le tengo que agregar algo al final, después del adjetivo, podemos usar la palabra one, podemos usar la palabra food para que ya esté completa. Fatty. So, uh, uh, when this hamburger uh, is such a fatty one, or when this hamburger uh, is such a fatty, uh, fatty food, <laughs> and that's okay. So, that sounds great. Fatty. Okay. Really? And I like Wendy's uh, French fries. Me gustan las papitas. That's the only thing. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Any other example? Podemos usar cualquiera. The tree, the diamond, the squirrel, uh, the dog, shoes. Richard. Yeah. Tell me, Richard. For example, for example, uh, the hamburger is such a crazy food. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Ah, I like okay. your example. Exactly. Okay. 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 Uh, teacher. Yes, Ignacio. The squirrel. Mm -hmm. Squirrel. The squirrel. Yes. Is such a, a small animal. Very good. I like your example. Such a small animal. Yes, excellent. Good, good, good. More teacher. examples. Yes. The diamond is such beautiful one. Very good. The diamond is such a beautiful one. Excellent. This diamond. Okay, great. Anybody else? More volunteers. I like it. Ya le agarramos como es exactly. Very good. Hi, Miss. Hello. Yes, Dani. Uh, for example, uh, I've been, I never seen mm -hmm. such a tall tree. Very good. I have never seen such a tall tree. Yes, excellent. Yeah. I like it. Very good. Anybody else? More volunteers? Miss? Yes, Clary, I tell can, me. I can say that though is such a friendly with human. The dog is such a friendly. Si le agregamos la palabra animal sería perfecto. So the dog is such a friendly animal. animal. With human. Okay. Yes, lo demás está super bien. Solo la palabrita animal is missing. Por estructura, right? But perfect. Yes. Anybody else? Anybody else? I have a lot of you guys. Pedrina, Carlos. Uh, Sandra's mm -hmm. hello, mm -hmm. Brenda. <laughs> Miss Paula, yes, yeah. Uh, 
Oh. <laughs> go, go, Ingrid, and then we will ah. have Richard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Eh, in, for example, eh, and dog, sería tal vez um, my dog, my dog, eh, eh, Akira. Is, a, is such a beautiful animal? Perfect. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Esa es la forma de hacerlas. Very good. Richard, go Richard. Um, uh, creo que eh, la palabra such, eh, siento como que me cuesta buscarle ¿Cómo la, asocia la, sí, la asociación con las palabras, porque vaya, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, eh, shoes, Uh, they should is such a resistant, pero no siento como con qué terminarlo, por decirlo así. Ok, ok. So, Entonces, uh, I, I like it. Podemos cambiarla a little bit. Podemos elaborarla y utilizar uh, más verbos, no solamente is. Probablemente ahí está eh, la dificultad. Por ejemplo, they shoes. Puedo utilizar la palabra tienen, como los, los zapatos tienen material resistente, o los zapatos están hechos de material resistente. Por ejemplo, the shoes are made, ya yeah, están hechos of such, of such a resistant material. And there you go. So no es solamente el verbo uh -huh. is, ¿verdad? Quizás por eso yeah. es que nos está costando un poquito más. Podemos usar muchísimas más formas. Dani, por ejemplo, eh, Dani nos da un ejemplo. Like, I have never seen such a beautiful animal. So, perfecto. Nunca he visto un animal tan hermoso. Right? Uh, okay. O nunca he visto, por ejemplo. Um, a girl. A girl. Okay. I have never seen okay. such a beautiful boy, such a handsome boy, or such a beautiful girl. Exactly. O nunca he visto una tormenta tan fuerte. I have never seen such a heavy rain. Or nunca he comido algo tan rico. I have never eaten such a delicious food or such a delicious meal. So hay muchas más formas de elaborarlo, right? La idea es que siempre después de such, vaya sea a or an, a menos que esto sea plural. Eh, completemos un par de ejercicios. Let's complete a couple of exercises so we can practice a little more this topic. But in general, I think we got the idea. Ya vamos a hacer más ejemplos. It says here, complete the exercises with so and such. Puede ser so o puede ser such a, right? Uh, of course, siempre que usamos such, va acompañado de a or an. Number one, let's take a look at number one. It is, ¿cuál va a ser nuestra llave o cuál va a ser nuestra key para saber si voy a usar so o voy a usar such? So lleva solamente un adjetivo y eso es todo. Such debe de llevar adjetivo y una palabra como una categoría después, ¿ya? Y así lo ubicamos. For example, number one, it is warm. No va otra palabra a la par de warm. Si le quitamos today, tiene sentido. So, ¿qué sería eso? It is so warm or is such a warm. So, it is so It is so warm today that I'm going to so. the beach. Exactly, so warm. Okay. Now, what about the rest of them? Les voy a dar cinco minutitos. I'll give you five minutes para escribir o para identificar solamente so and such. Pueden escribirlos in the chat, right? Like number one, number two, number three. And uh, so we can practice a little more. Remember, so... Solamente necesita un adjetivo. Such, digamos que necesita dos palabras. It needs two words. Cinco minutos.
Two more minutes. Okay, guys, so help me please with your answers, all right? Um, number one you said is so, so that's okay, that's very good. What about number two? The second one says, uh, we are pleased with these new towels that we are going to buy. So, please. So. Ok, recordemos que después de such necesito como dos palabritas, right? La primera es un adjetivo y luego como una categoría. O puede ser la palabra thin, o puede ser la palabra one, or something like that. Eh, tenemos so? with, entonces desde acá ya no yeah. cuenta. Vamos a pensar solo en we are please, hasta ahí. Cuando veamos una palabra como with o algo así ya no cuenta. Okay. So, so or such. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so we are so pleased. Yes, exactly. Estamos como muy agradecidos, yes. muy complacidos, right? Yes. We are so pleased. That's okay. Number three. He did. Sorry. Y ahora vamos a contar hasta acá, hasta donde dice Polish that. Thing. He did. Sorry. Sorry. Foolish things. Yeah. Son dos palabras. Entonces What's vamos a usar. Such. 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 Exactly. We are going to use such. No vamos a usar ni a ni a okay. porque tenemos things. Ese es plural. Yes. So no necesitamos eh, a sure. or an. Number four. Yes. Eh, eh, no Norberto. lleva a o an. No, no lleva porque tenemos la palabra things. Y la S me indica plural. Entonces con plurales ya no puedo usar ni a ni an. Ah, okay. mm -hmm. So okay. he did such foolish, foolish things as I Number four, vamos a pensar hasta generous such. contributions. He made generous such. contributions. ¿Cuántas palabras ven? Two. 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 ¿Qué voy a usar? Oh, such. Such, exactly. Necesito a or an. Revisamos no. contributions. Ah. No porque es plural. Yeah. Ya. La palabra contributions es plural. No necesito ni a mm, ni okay. an. Number six. We had good time, hasta good time, hasta acá, pónganle mucha atención. Such good uh, time. Such. ¿Cuántas palabras? Two. We have such. such. Uh. Y ahora sí necesito a uh, porque dice time, yeah. singular. Mm -hmm. Ok. Yeah. yeah. So we, we had such a good time. Very good. Number seven, the thief. Ok. El ladrón. The thief came in, y tenemos hasta quietly, quietly. Aside. So quietly. So, so quietly, so. exactly. So quietly. Guys, vemos por qué? Do, do you see why this is so, why this is such? Please, no se queden con la duda. Yes. Ask. Okay, next, number eight, hasta extravagant. He oh. is extravagant. So. He is so extravagant. So, um, so extravagant. Oh. Very good. So, hasta ahí. So extravagant. That's it. Okay. Number nine. Those are great moments. ¿Cuántas palabras hay acá? Two. 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 Great oh. 
moments, adjetivo en next word. ¿Qué voy a usar? What am I going to use? Such. Such. Necesito plural. Ah, no, no, porque dice no, moments. No. Yeah. This is plural. Ok. Y la última. He wastes. He such wastes. Time. Such a. Um. Such a. Uh. Vamos a ponerle atención hasta eh, time. Hasta time, pero uh, tenemos yeah. la palabra much. Mucho tiempo. Ajá. Entonces so, pronunciamos la siguiente. So, so, so much so, or such much. ¿Cuál suena mejor? So, so, so much. Yes. So much. So, so exactly. Much. Much. Siempre que vemos la palabra much es con so. So much. I like it so much. Okay. It is so. Um, so much interested, okay, or so much interesting. Um, con el tiempo vamos a ir identificándoles because algunas veces es como por oído, right? But yes, pretty much that is the use of them. Now, guys, let's go ahead and we have a little exercise to for you. Okay. Oh, give me one second. Let me erase it here. Okay, very good. This one says we have a little uh, speaking practice. And it says, discuss with a partner the following ideas. Share your opinion and give answers. And we have number one. It is not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company has. Number two. Last year, a company's owner fired many people. Despidió a bastantes personas. It was the best decision to save the company. And number three, it is mandatory for everybody to check on his or her profits and incomes to spend only what you have. Tenemos acá tres ideas eh, del tema que hemos revisado ahora, ya, que es parte de in incomes, banking, money, y también hemos revisado este tema de so and such. So, what I want you to do is the following. It says on top, discuss with a partner the following ideas. Share your opinions and give reasons. Vamos a dar nuestras razones. Vamos a dar la opinión. What do you think about these three topics? Escoja solamente uno de los tres temas porque están larguitos, right? And give your opinions. Si podemos utilizar la palabra so or such, sería perfecto. Number one says, it is not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company has. So no es necesario que sepamos de su empresa, de los ingresos o egresos, right? What do you think? ¿Qué opinen? Do you agree? ¿Están de acuerdo? It is not so important or it is so important. Number two, last year a company's owner fired many people and it was the best decision. Estuvo bien que despidiera a tantas personas. What is your opinion? What are the reasons, James? I think, in my opinion, it was so inconsiderate, maybe. Yeah, for me, desconsiderados. It was so, um, it was such a bad decision. So, because there are other ways, right? Number three, it is mandatory for everybody to check on his or her profits. Es necesario que revisemos nuestros ingresos, nuestras ganancias, to spend only what you have, para que gastemos solo lo que tenemos, right? Y pues no, no, no gastemos más de lo que no tenemos. So pretty much that is the idea. En grupo escojan solo una de las tres. Select one. Give your opinion. Pueden utilizar palabras como so. I think it is so important. I think it is such an important idea, such an important topic, whatever. And cuando regresemos, compartimos our ideas. Le pueden tomar captura. You can take a picture there. And uh, there we go. Tenemos cinco minutitos. We have only five minutes to discuss the topics. So everybody, vámonos. Let's go to the groups. Hello, Brian. Me alegra que ya esté aquí. I'm happy to see you here.
the company has. O sea, no, it's not important to speak about the, 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 the company. Um, Maybe example, the, 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 two, the, the two sentences. Yes, because if the, for example, the last years, some company fired fire a uh, a different person. Uh, uh, maybe for the pandem pandemic. Fire. Uh, for the COVID. Yes, for COVID. Yes. Yes, uh, so so many, so many companies. Would you like to talk about so many uh, companies about... fire? Yes, for example, in, in my company, uh, some uh, some person uh, fire uh, uh, the company fire some person. Mm. But uh, I think is is a, a be, best decision because is the because it the the government need the como sería, impuestos taxes the government need tax the the, the taxes in in the uh, for example. Uh, other, other uh, the company maybe will podrían contratar could they hire hire mm -hmm. maybe the the hire a other person that the next years okay okay yes. rene rene uh, so um you do you do you think the the such best decision of company to fire the I think company? yes because I think yes because is I need to uh, pro protect her protect yeah for um, save the company yeah I get the uh, maybe, for example, in the uh, in this case, the código laboral, no sé cómo será. <laughs> uh, uh, um, okay, okay, uh, René. Uh, um, Guadalupe y, y no sé. Angel, Just, Guadalupe, Jocelyn, Jocelyn. For... Uh, Martin also. Uh, what do you think about the two sentences, or maybe we we talking about the three sentences? What do you think, that Jocelyn? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, the second. The second sentence is is, is better. Speak about the second sentence. Okay. Uh, tell me, tell me. Okay. Tell me some about the two sentences. To es use. Que no le comprende la, la, la que dice. Ah. So, voy a seleccionar uno. You can select the one, two, or three. Only one of the questions to talk about that. Number one says, it is not so important to know about the income and outcome a company has. Yesterday, veíamos que el income son todos los ingresos. And outcome son todos los ingresos, todos los gastos that the company has. In your opinion, es importante saber sobre el estado de su compañía, de los ingresos y egresos que tiene, or it is not important. Number two says, Last year, a company's owner fired many people. It was the best decision to save the company. So, el año pasado, the company despidió, yeah, fired a lot of people. 
y fue la mejor decisión para salvar la compañía. The, the point is here, what is your opinion? Estuvo okay. bien, is that a good idea? Was that bad? I don't agree, I think it was a bad idea, or it was a good idea. So la idea es solamente compartir cuál es nuestra opinión de estos temas. Uh -huh. Okay, Ma, I think uh, depend the the, the 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 moment because um, y um, cómo le digo. Try. Si hay alguna palabra que no sabe cómo decirla, dígale en español y continúe. No, no hay problema. It's okay. <laughs> You're good. Okay. Uh, the jobs, uh, the uh... entonces, compañeros, hello, Brian, entonces. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo quedaría la idea? Déjeme que lo estoy redactando. Yo tengo algo, pero no sé. The nice, the nice company. What, what is the nice company? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is the, is the service? Me ama. Ese perro me ama. Mira dónde está. Is the store? Is a supermarket. Hello, hello, classmate. Hello. Ana hello. Delmi, ¿está por ahí? Hello, Pedrina. Hola, Ana Delmi. Hola, hola. ¿Qué idea tiene usted al respecto a esa pregunta? Eh, si los estaba escuchando. Eh, <risa> me parece bien. Uh -huh. este. Yo la reduje un poco, la, di la dejé diferente a como la dijimos al principio. Bueno, la, yo, entonces, yo, yo digo que cada quien podría decir, por lo menos ah, yo, yo vaya, al menos la mía. La mía. Eh, dice, it is not
everybody, thanks a lot for coming back. Gracias por regresar. And now I need your thoughts about this. Eh, algunos escuché que estaban discutiendo los todos, and that is perfect. But si escogieron solamente uno, it is just fine. Let's go with number one. It says, it is not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company has. ¿Alguien tiene alguna idea de la primera? Do you have an idea about number one? ¿Alguien discutió la primera? Did you discuss the first? Probably not. So guys, let me select some volunteers. <laughs> so what do you think about number one? It is not so important to know about the incomes or outcomes. In other words, no, no, nos, no nos interesa saber, right? Sobre nuestra compañía. About the incomes and outcomes of the company. So, Clary, eh, ¿está por ahí, Clary? Okay, so that is not there. In my, in my case, I think it's so important to know the, the to know uh, about the incomes and outcomes because it's when the uh, the or the company owner wants to fire a peop, uh, a person, mm -hmm. always cons consider the 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 incomes and in outcomes. Because it's they they know the, the the best thing for the company. Okay, that that's a very good point actually. So it is important to know you said because it really depends on the in, income and outcome of the company, como nuestra situación laboral, right? Or like if we have a job, if we don't have a job. Okay, so it is important in your case. Got it. Thanks a lot, Rene. That's a very good one. Eh, gracias, Ingrid. Ahorita le hizo un mensaje. Thank you so much. Guys, what about number two? A company's owner fired many people. It was the best decision. What do you think? Fue lo I mejor? Think it, yes. I think I such a, a bad uh, idea, idea because idea. They, could look for, they could look for another solution to reduce expense. Okay. I like but, uh, the vocabulary you are using. Very good. Okay. okay they have the, to look. But the employees don't have low for company. Uh, I think can be fired. Okay. So the company had to look for another way to reduce the expenses. I like it. They reduce the expenses. Very good. Very good use of vocabulary. Nice. Nice. Number three. It is mandatory for everybody to check on his or her profit and incomes to spend only what you have. In other words, que gastemos solo lo que podemos, you know, afford, lo que podemos pagar, right? Number three, ¿alguien tiene alguna opinión sobre la número tres? Do you have any opinion about this? Anybody? Ignacio, tell me. <laughs> it is mandatory for everybody to check on his or her incomes to spend only what you have. What do you think? Okay, I think the the to spend only what uh, we have mm -hmm. Be because uh, because uh, the money is is a is a um, in in this moment the money is very difficult yes. to obtain. Yes. Yes, it's my, my, my. I totally agree. So my it is important, right? It is so important to check. Okay. It is your, so important to check. Our incomes, yes. Especialmente hacer un, um, like a budget, hacer un presupuesto, make like a monthly budget de los gastos que tenemos so we can understand cuando nos queda libre, right? And talking about this, de hecho, es el siguiente tema that we have. And it says the following, uh, make a little presentation about the importance of a budget. Ahorita que ya acabamos de revisar esos temas, like 
talking about money, incomes, outcomes, expenses, um, profit, ayer veíamos piggy bank, saving money, etc. Uh, today we have this topic that is make a little presentation. In other words, it's como nos, una explicación, right? A little explanation about the importance of a budget. Budget es un presupuesto. But no hablamos del de la compañía, hablamos de a personal budget, eh, de el dinero que ustedes reciben. ¿Por qué es necesario hacerlo? Do you have one? Todos tienen un budget. Yes. Hacen su presupuesto mensual. Do you make your, your budget? Do you yes. have like, uh, oh, me van a pagar este día, tengo que pagar esto, you know, and I'm going to keep this money for the bills, this money for food, this money for medicine. Why is it important? Okay, so In my case is complicated. Mm -hmm. Why? No, Tell us. Uh, no, it's um, on day and day or. Um, it is not I a monthly. How, I don't have a budget. Okay, you don't have a budget. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. okay. And my guys is, is important. Uh, I had a budget, but uh, I need to have a control expense. Okay, you need to control expenses. Okay, yes, how, for how my do you- the class, for my motorbike, uh, I need I need have a control. Okay, so how do we control it? Como controlamos nuestros expenses o nuestros gastos? What do you do? What is the, the best recommendation you can give us to stick to the budget? No gastar más de lo que gano. <laughs> So not to spend. Calculate the, the my salary. Calculate, okay. Like uh, survivor. To organize the salary. Eh, Claribel, can you repeat? How do you say mis? Detail. En este caso creo que podríamos utilizar también la palabra organize. Si se refiere al dinero. So organize. Uh, detail, describe. Yes, como organize my, my money or my or, income. Organize quizás mis gastos. Organize my expenses or make a list of my expenses. So, yeah. What is the best recommendation you can give us? Guys, vamos a ir en grupo. And del grupo, quiero que me escojan a una persona para presentarlo, right? So this is going to be the importance. ¿En qué me ayuda y cómo puedo hacer que mi dinero también abunde, right? <laughs> that is very important. That's a very important topic. So, escojan a una persona del grupo para presentarlo. Tenemos cinco minutitos. We got like five, seven minutes to do it. And then we come back y lo presentamos. So, let's do it. Let's get there, guys. Les acabo de ver la invitación. Yo no puedo otro. Carlos. O Sandra. Entonces, Moses. You are the, you are the, Yo voy a decir la importancia. You are the, main. the budget is important to have a balance of the expenses that are at home. You know, it's necessary to look for more money or 
small work. Uh, a recommendation is do not buy unnecessary. For example, eso podría ser. Uh, you, you know, the yesterday I talked about my wife. For example, I... Um, she she use a, a small save and uh, prepare the role for different uh, payment. Uh, for example, light, internet, uh, water, and uh, one hundred one hundred thousand for food for the two week and it's my but but Moses you are the main and Carlos or Sandra hello In, in my case, please, please, please help uh, Moses. He is the, he is a. Uh, <laughs> eh, Moisés no puede presentar, ayúdenme. Yeah, I'm representing. Okay, the, the budget, the budget is important because help to know obtain debts is important for no expense more money that i can uh, pay in in the period on the month uh, in my case take a decision or to make a list of the all invoice to pay for no uh, how do you say pasar medic i'm sorry how do you say pasarme o sea no gastar de más como no gastar más oh uh -huh. más de lo que gané digamos okay uh, to overdraft Overdraft, uh, overdraft es como cuando, cuando, eh, si tengo, digamos, 500 dólares en mi cuenta y yo saco 510 y ya hay un negativo. So es un overdraft. Uh -huh. Como sobre giro. Uh -huh. So that's an overdraft. So, podrías funcionar. Don't, uh -huh. don't have overdraft. Uh -huh. Ok. This is my... My opinion. Eh, otra, otra, another opinion. The budget, the budget. Eh. Solo que dijo Brian. No, no escuché, lo siento, estaba haciendo una receta para un paciente. Ah, Dios. ok. Brian, repítalo, Brian, para que lo escuche Natalie. I think it's very important, but that's necessary to organize my expense. Uh, I don't know, don't spend more than my salary. Oh, my case, my goal is to save money because I need to start my business in my case, in my case. Uh, but in my opinion, the budget is very important. Excellent. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Sí, elegido. <laughs>
Hi guys, thanks for coming back. I guess everybody is coming back just now. Okay, so thanks a lot. Gracias everybody por regresar, right? Estamos hablando un poquito sobre la importancia del budget and uh, cómo nos puede servir. So I would like to know if we have, well, la idea era que escogieran a una persona that you select, yeah, like one person to represent your group and tell us about qué fue lo que dijeron, qué ideas compartieron, etc. So I am going to, let me see. Yeah, todos están de regreso. Everybody's back. So let's go by, by order. Yes. Okay. So my first room is number one. I had Jasmine, Ingrid, Norberto, Marvin, and Rene. So who is the volunteer from group number one? I, I am. Oh, okay. I, so you were the chosen one. <laughs> Fue el yeah. tributo del grupo. I, yeah, I think it's necessary to do to make a, a baggage because uh, when you make a buy, you can uh, control uh, for your in incomes, uh, gastos. In oh, uh, for, expenses, in expenses. For for expenses, oh, yeah. uh, for expenses. Uh -huh. Uh, but for example, I think uh, I like the beer, and I think <laughs> the beer is necessary. Is necessary, is necessary because is you and need I to relax do. your you need to to relax in your okay. in your life. Okay. But if you include including this in your in your budget, mm -hmm. you can do you can do this. But the the travel is when you go to the out with your friend or 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 maybe you are. Uh, Oh, uh, yourself, uh, to okay. me, yourself. Yeah. Uh, you spend a lot of money in yeah. one, in one, in a uh, one night, in a one uh, night. Uh -huh. But if you include including the the beer in your budget, you can do this and you can uh, enjoy your life. Oh, okay, oh, wonderful. <laughs> I like your opinion. Claps, guys, emojis. That was excellent. Okay, so. I like it. Okay, solo porque mencioné la beer. <laughs> no, I, I think that as long, as long ya as casi you no control. Tengo. So, siempre que los, como, los controle, you control your expenses, I think you can be fine. So, como una vez al mes, right? Like one, once a month, that's not a bad idea. All right, thank you, Rene. I like it a lot. Let's go with group number two. From group two, I have Delmi, Brian, Natalie, Clary, and Pedrina. Who was the tribute in group number two? Well, in, in my case, the budget is necessary and important because uh, I need to organize my expense. Okay. Uh, I don't spend more for my salary, okay. uh, but I think all, all my idea is uh, I I save money because I need uh, to start my business. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is important because you can save money. Okay, for your business. All right, great. That sounds good. And I like that you have that idea in mind. I want to start my business. I need a budget para poder ahorrar. That's amazing. So thank you very much. Thank you, Brian. That's a very good one. Um, group number three, I got Angel, Danny, Danis, Guadalupe, Marvin, and Abigail. So who is from group number three? Who is the volunteer, the chosen one? Uh, no chosen one, um, <laughs> Abigail. <laughs> <laughs> El tributo. <laughs> yeah. So you are the tribute. Okay. <laughs> no. The victim. Um, <laughs> Why? Uh, okay, tell us. In my case, I, I think our better organizer. Organize. 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 Now the balance of expense. Mm -hmm. Como es versus? Versus. Versus income. Yes. Ah, okay. I come. Income. 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 Yes. Uh, 
or provider for eventuality mm -hmm. or or seek or the travel mm -hmm. or or other emergence okay okay great yes. great i like it so you can organize your money in case of emergencies okay and you have some savings very nice thank yes. you Dennis. <laughs> okay. thank you for being the tribute of your group <laughs> okay and the last one i got brenda uh, carlos ignacio jocelyn moses and sandra so who was the 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 chosen one <laughs> Or the victim, I don't know. Moses, victim. okay. So he was the victim too. Okay. Uh, the budget is important to have a balance of the expenses that are the mal at home. Okay. So now it is necessary to okay. obtain more money or work longer, more work. Mm -hmm. uh, do not overdraft mm -hmm. uh, or budget has to uh, equal your salary. Mm -hmm. so, yes. uh, a recommendation is do not buy uh, unnecessary. Yes. <laughs> do, not, do not go to party, etc. Uh, that's a really good recommendation, exactly. So don't buy unnecessary things don't buy i don't know ¿Qué gastan, guys? what do you buy that is unnecessary drinks and, uh, maybe the extra and, uh, caro <laughs> el aguacate extra que le ponen ignacio what do you buy yes and and i can say for my beer too okay so beer you spend some money on drinks okay yes. in my case i don't know what what do i buy that is unnecessary <laughs> Probably makeup. So we women gastamos bastante dinero en maquillaje. So we spend some money on makeup, maybe that part. I don't know. Guys, en qué no gastamos necessary. dinero? I think <laughs> not, not demasiado. I mean, because hay un limit, right? There is a limit. Yes. There is something yes. that is necessary. Y hay quienes tienen una docena, you know, <laughs> de, de lipsticks y cosas que no son necesarias. So I, I guess it's just yeah. a matter of organ uh -huh, brushes yes, brushes but at the end it's, it's a matter of, of you know si, si pueden si está dentro de su de su budget i think it's super good okay everybody it's about time thank you very much moses that's a very good recommendation i like it a lot and antes de irnos solo voy a pasar asistencia if you can help me with your camera please that would be wonderful and i can take your attendance y nos queda también, you know, en la grabación that you were there. So, thanks a lot for activating your camera some minutes. Sí. Um, let me just make sure everybody's here. I got Anna Delmi. Anita I'm Marlene. here, teacher. Thank you very much. Uh, Brenda, yo vi a Brenda hace unos minutos. But I think... Uh, they, they come a, a bedroom. Yeah, but Pero si estuvo con nosotros, right? She was with us yes. a minutes ago. Yes. Recuerdo haberle visto. All right. Brian. I am here, teacher. Yes. Sorry you for go. the late. No worries. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I'm missing. Danny. Present. There you go. Uh, Giovanni. Gracias, Brenda. Thank you. I got you. Got it there. Ignacio. Present confirmation. Marvin, hey, what's going on? Present, hey. Hello, Marvin, gracias. Thank you. Uh, Rene. Está Rene también. Present, present. See Rene with us. Thank you so much. And I'm missing Angel. Solo me regala confirmación, Angel, please. Lo vi hace unos minutos, pero ya no lo veo. Present, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Marvin López. Marvin, ¿está por ahí? Present, present, thank teacher. Thank you. Yes, Marvin, we made it. Thank you very much. And Ingrid, creo que Ingrid tenía problemas con 
la conexión, pero sí estaba por ahí. Con el pago, con el pago. <ríe> la del vecino. No, ah, eh, okay. no, sí se me activó unos minutos y yes. sus mensajes, uh, pero quizás algo pasó. Ya, ah, yeah, oh. aparte el clima está bastante mal, you know, and, and it's kind of dangerous. Okay. Yes. Chicos, gracias enormes por eh, estar con nosotros en session number 17. Nos quedan solamente tres y terminamos module 4. So this is amazing. Uh, please, avancemos con la plataforma, avancemos con los ejercicios. No se me vayan a oh, quedar eh, hasta el último día. Celebration. Yes. We are yes. thinking about it. Yeah, we are thinking about it. Brian said he was in eh, and he was going to invite us, you know. <laughs> he was going to treat us. Okay. And no, that would be wonderful. Tal vez se puede, you know, el... el al final de módulo, right? That would be amazing. Vamos, um, vamos. Yeah, that would be great. Clary, tenemos one on one. So, I don't okay, know me. where. I'm <laughs> ready. No, no, not there. <laughs> <laughs> not there. Okay. No, boy, I mean, boy. takes us boy. over. That would be great. So, guys, que descansen. Tengan muy buena noche. I'll be seeing you yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Session 18. Yeah, Clary, me regalo unos minutitos. Bye, guys. Bye. Have Bye. a good night. Bye. See you. Good night, Miss Julia. Bye, me, sir. Bye bye. See you bye. tomorrow. Do -do -do. Regaleme unos segunditos, Clary. Give me just some seconds. Okay, miss. Hold on. Ahora sí. <laughs> ya estamos las dos. Ok, gracias Miss por quedarse, le voy a robar un par de minutitos para nuestro one on one. Eh, well, lo tenemos hasta este momento programado, así que vamos a aprovecharlo, you know, as much as possible. Um, I sí, want yo dije, to... saber cuándo voy a tener el one on one. <ríe> no, pero sí lo tenemos. <ríe> ok, bueno, eh, solamente quiero iniciar con la parte del feedback. Eh, me alegra mucho tenerla, you know, siempre acá conectada. Eh, yo sé que está pendiente a veces con la camarita eh, apagada, pero yo sé que me está escuchando, que está súper pendiente sí. de las clases. Así que gracias por eso. Eh, con la asistencia estamos súper bien. Creo que solamente unos minutitos ahí que me le hacen falta, pero, pero estamos dentro del rango. Así que estamos súper bien eh, con las tareas. Me las he entregado a tiempo. Así que gracias enormes por eso. Okay. And, uh, Miss, ¿cómo se siente? How do you feel so far? Siente que va avanzando, eh, siente que uh, se va soltando un poquito más, va agarrando fluidez. Hay alguna área donde le pueda ayudar. Eh, so, tell me, I want to listen to you. <risa> Ay, para ser sincera, este módulo sí me ha costado porque sí, es súper diferente a los anteriores. Pero es porque igual vamos a ir aumentando, cada vez más se va a ir aumentando. ¿Lo siente más difícil? Uh, yes. <laughs> ¿En qué sentido? ¿En el hecho de empezar a hablar un poquito más? ¿O uh -huh. los temas están más difíciles? Los or... temas, topic. Yes. Ah, the topics. Ok. Um, yes. De los temas que hemos visto hasta ahorita, ¿hay alguno que todavía le esté dando ahí dolor de cabeza? ¿Que no, no, que tiene dudas? You know? Pues creo que como todos los compañeros, este último que estamos viendo del so y such, que el so y el such. bueno, okay. siempre de practicarlo. Ya, yeah, podemos hacer un par de ejercicios right now. Ya, yeah. well, ya, yeah, de, de hecho, eh, solamente quizás eh, pedirle siempre que cuando tenga la oportunidad de unirse a los grupos, eh, nos unamos, ¿verdad? Para que a um, veces en los grupos los compañeros te, tienen como... Eh, el, el ayudarse, el escucharse, eh, nos ayuda también a sacar dudas, right? So, es, es bastante útil sometimes. Le comparto acá mi pantalla para que veamos un par de ejemplos de cómo no. utilizarlo y usted me puede ayudar también con sus propios examples. Ok, solo voy a decirle algo. Dígame, dígame. Y ya que mencionó grupos, para serle sincera, este módulo yo no me, yo no me he incluido a los grupos. 
porque para ser sincera no me parece trabajar así en grupo entonces, ah, okay. yo, entonces lo que yo hago es que los ejercicios yo lo hago solita y, y bueno si tengo oportunidad de compartirlos cuando usted dice quién quiere participar pues lo hago <risa> ok Pero, sí, no me gusta esta, en esta vez en este módulo si no no me ha no me ha gustado, para ser sincera, trabajar así en grupo. Ok. Entonces, ¿Has, lo hago ¿Has tenido soy? alguna dificultad o anything, alguna razón especial por la que no, uh, no se siente cómoda? Sí, no, no, no me parece porque no, no, se, no se aprovecha el tiempo. Para serle sincera, no se aprovecha el tiempo. Ok. Ok, gracias, gracias por sus comentarios, porque sí son importantes de tomarlo, you know. um, En esa modalidad es un poquito difícil interactuar y pues eh, esta parte de, de interacción es la que, la que nos hace um, como soltarnos o a veces en los grupos uno habla más, ¿verdad? También porque no está en todo el grupo, o so se tiende a, a sentir un poco más con confianza. Pero gracias que me lo comparten porque de esa manera sé que usted prefiere quizás trabajar un poco más on your own, eh, como más internalizar los temas o practicarlos a sí misma y es totally fine. So that's perfect. So, porque me imagino que usted tiene que llevar un, uh, no sé cómo decirlo, pero me imagino que a usted le dicen que tiene que llevar, no sé, un orden, no sé la palabra ahorita de que tiene que ser obligatorio, que usted tiene que ser grupo. Sí, ¿verdad? Eh, no es que sea obligatorio, pero lo que sucede es que normalmente nosotros trabajamos en grupos pequeños porque nos ayuda la parte de socialización. Y como ah, es un ah, idioma, ¿verdad? Entonces uh -huh. la parte de interacción y socializar nos hace perder el miedo, you know, de cierta manera. Y uh, pues somos 25. A veces escuchar a los 25 es un poco difícil, pero por lo general en los grupos eh, yo entro, hay cinco, y si los cinco tienen dudas, pues es más fácil, you know, eh, solventar cualquier tipo de, de duda o escucharlos, ayudarles, corregirlos, es mucho más fácil. This is why. Uh -huh. pero, okay. pero, 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 es, pero su opinión es bien importante porque de esa manera eh, me hace también saber la forma como usted prefiere trabajar. And that's perfect. So that, that's okay. No era problema. Uh -huh. Si gusta, vemos la parte de So. Um, so, por lo general, es como un very, ¿ok? Es como la forma de decir muy. El such también no es como una diferencia en significado. Such es también otra forma de decir very. Ambos me enfatizan las palabras. La diferencia está en la estructura. Al momento que yo hablo, al momento que yo digo algo, como yo lo digo. So, si voy a describir, por ejemplo, um, ¿a dónde vive Miss Chalchuapa o Santa Ana? Eh, a Huachapán. A Huachapán, ninguno de los dos. <risa> ok, digamos, hablemos de Huachapán. So, ¿cómo me describiría el lugar? ¿Cómo me describe, like, your, your town or your neighborhood? A Huachapán is a um, small city. Okay. Perfect, so, perfect. Uh -huh. Okay. Tengo esa palabra small. Como yo digo, muy pequeña. Puedo utilizar la palabra very, pero no la quiero usar, entonces yo uso la palabra so. Agua Chapán is so small. Okay. Me falta acá. Is a. Uh, okay. Quitémosle la palabra city, estamos súper bien. So, Agua Chapán is so small. Okay. Hasta ahí estamos súper bien. O puedo decir, Aguachapán es so small and beautiful. And this is perfect. ¿Ya? O solamente le quito esto y digo, Aguachapán es so beautiful. Entonces, en la palabra so viene siendo un very, very beautiful, very small. Uh, y es para enfatizar un poquito, para darle el significado de muy, muy bonita. Such es lo mismo. No es que cambie significado. Pero sí me cambia la estructura un poquito. Entonces yo digo agua chapán. Agua chapán. Is such. Ok. Y acá tengo la palabra a o an. Si el siguiente va a ser singular. Digamos que agua chapán es un lugar muy bonito. Right? So agua chapán is such a beautiful 
Y como estamos hablando de un lugar, o puede ser una ciudad, puede ser un pueblo, yo le puedo agregar, bueno, tengo que agregarle al final algo que me lo identifique. So I have a Wachatan is such a beautiful, le voy a quitar el an, is such a beautiful place. So, la única diferencia con el so y el such es que yo necesito agregarle al final de esta oración una palabra extra. Por eso es que decimos que se unen dos. Tenemos un adjetivo y luego tenemos un noun. O la descripción, ¿verdad? Si hablamos de un pueblo, por ejemplo, imagine that we are talking about, dígame de uno de los pueblos de Huachapá. Mm, podríamos decir ataco. Ok, ataco. So, ataco, uh, ¿qué, ¿qué me diría de ataco? ¿Cómo es? Um, y no sé, how do you say turístico? Touristic. Touristic place. Touristic. Mm -hmm. Ok, eso es todo. So, ataco is such, siempre necesito el la porque son, eh, esta palabra es singular. So, ataco is such a touristic place. Y eso es todo. So, uh, no es la única forma de hablar de esto, pero sí, si usted se fija, es lo mismo. Acá yo cambio a Huachapán y I say, ataco. Ataco is so touristic. Touristic. Ok. Or ataco is such a touristic place. Es casi lo mismo. La diferencia es que acá yo le debo de agregar como la categoría. Si estamos hablando, por ejemplo, El Salvador. Right? I have a taco. Ahora lo cambio a El Salvador. El Salvador is such a touristy. Ahora El Salvador es un país. Entonces le agrego la palabra country. El Salvador is such a beautiful country. Dígame qué más podemos decir del Salvador utilizando such. Veamos. Um, is, um, Usamos esta misma estructura para que no sea difícil. El Salvador is such a. Uh, how do you say, uh, para decir, um, con personas que les gusta trabajar? Hardworking. So, okay. El Salvador is, well, tendría que ser como El Salvador tiene, ¿verdad? El Salvador mm -hmm. has such, y tenemos la palabra hardworking. Hard working. Y como hablamos de personas, sería people que ya no veo ahí. Ok. So, El Salvador has such hardworking people. Ya no le voy a poner acá ni el a ni el an, right? Ni, eh, ni este ni este. Porque, <coughs> exacto, porque tenemos la palabra people. Entonces, people ya no me permite eh, ponerle acá el a ni el an. Se lo quito. So, El Salvador has such hardworking people. Um, en honor al tiempo, porque no le quiero robar más, eh, le voy a compartir ahorita que tenemos la sesión un par de ejercicios para que usted los trabaje on your own y podamos clarificar esta parte de so and such, right? Eh, eh, sí, se lo voy a compartir ahorita porque en la plataforma a veces es un poco más difícil. So, me, lo, me lo va a mandar a mi... Se lo voy a mandar a su número. I'm going to send ah, it to okay. your WhatsApp. Yeah, creo que es más fácil de acceso, right? Se los voy a enviar y cuando usted tenga tiempo, y you uno know, los completa. Y si gusta, me envía la captura solo para, para double check que todo esté bien y que ya no, okay. no hayan quedado mayores dudas. Mm -hmm. So we are super okay. grateful. Ok. So, yeah. tío, muchísimas yeah. gracias por su tiempo. Thanks a lot for being here. Casi terminamos módulo 4. Va a seguir, ¿verdad? You will continue. Ay, eso quería decirle. Eh... La chica de recursos humanos no, 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 no nos ha, no ha enviado la reinscripción. Y, no y le creo. De las tres. Y, y un chico que se llama Oscar ha estado pendiente. Pero yo creo que ella lo va, tiene que mandar mañana temprano. Tal vez se puede porque hoy era el último día. Yeah. Presionen mm. a su recurso. Son las tres, right No solamente es la suya. Ana oh, Deli, Mel, bueno, well, esperemos, esperemos que, que la persona encargada sí mande la documentación porque sería, you know, eh, pues es módulo 4 y si se quedan esperando va a ser bien incómodo para ustedes 
Y ya pues son parte del grupo, you know, so you're part of the group. So, y la idea es que todos se vayan juntitos. <ríe> But, sí, presionen, sí. esperemos que sí, esperemos que todavía... De manera entre. temprano voy a preguntar. Sí, a veces cuesta con recursos humanos, es de presionar un poquito. But, esperemos que sí. Hopefully, yes, okay. miss. Ahorita le mando los ejercicios, oiga. Ok, está bien. Ok, Muchísimas gracias, gracias, miss. Gracias a usted por el tiempo. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.